Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor Yeti. Woman, you are healed and whole. And for today, in our devotional journey, it is live in the now of freedom. So if the sun sets you free, you are free through and through. John 8, verse 36, and the translation is from the message. When the infirm woman came to Jesus, he proclaimed her freedom. Now she stands erect from the first time in 18 years. When you come to Jesus, he will cause you to stand in his strength. You hear me, dear ones? You to stand in his strength. You will know how important you are to him. Part of your recovery is to learn how to stand up and live in the now of life instead of the ten of yesterday. That was then, but this is now. I proclaim to the abused, there is a healing going into your spirit right now. I speak life to you. I speak deliverance to you. I speak restoration to you. All in the mighty name of Jesus. In the invincible, all-powerful, everlasting name of Jesus. I proclaim victory to you. You will recover the loss you suffered at the hands of your abuser. You will get back every stolen item. He will heal that broken twig. He will rebuild your self-esteem, your self-respect, and your integrity. All you need to do is allow His power and anointing to touch the hurting places. He will take care of the secrets. He touches the places where you've been assassinated. He knows the woman you would have been, the woman you should have been, the woman you could have been. God is healing and restoring her in you as you call out to Him. The enemy wanted to change your destiny through a series of events, but God will restore you to wholeness as if the events had never happened. The triumphant woman locked inside shall come forth to where she belongs. He's delivering her. He's releasing her. He's restoring her. He's building her back. He's bringing her out. He's delivering by the power of His Spirit. Receive it now and believe. Your healing journey, freedom is available to you right now. Reach out and receive it. Everything that you just heard, the prayers and declarations of freedom 
are yours. We've established you are worthy to receive them. Not because of your works, but because of Jesus. You are worthy to be free. You are worthy to walk in the perfect freedom provided by the Son of God. Sometimes the enemy tries to convince us we are not worthy of freedom that Jesus made available. We've gone too far. We've done too much. We've missed too many opportunities. We've stumbled too often. We've left the God we loved. We're not like we used to be. Any of these lies starting to sound familiar. Yes? Every lie is aimed at you with the intention of deceiving you right out of your freedom. The devil is a liar and he knows that the only way he can try to short circuit your freedom is bombarding you with his lies. He is desperate, desperate for you to believe a lie because it's costly to him if you start believing the truth. Right now, I declare in Jesus' name that you pick up the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, and you begin to swing it with full force and authority at every fiery dart of the enemy. Scripture tells us that this weapon of the Word extinguishes his attempts to destroy you, primarily through deception. The word is truth, final, definitive, unchanging. The enemy comes with lies that are subject to the measuring rod of scripture. Every lie that he sends your way that disagrees with the word of God is fit to be cut down, destroyed, extinguished. Receive the word, the truth of God's word, right now. As this is the key to unlocking your freedom in Christ. Stand in his strength. Because he raised you up. May the almighty God bless your morning and your noontime, and your evening. And when you lay your head on your pillow, giving back all the glory and worship and everything you did in that day, and let him bless you and those who are living next to you, your loved ones. And find the peace of the Lord. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. I love you guys. Bye.